Can this Martin guitar compete with a Taylor guitar that's twice its price? We're gonna find out. Hey everyone, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today, we wanna look at a new guitar from Martin that's part of their Road series. We're going on the road with Martin and if you watch our videos at all, you've probably noticed that I'm a huge fan of these guitars. And the reason is pretty simple. I like guitars that are well made by reputable manufacturers that you can kind of trust, rely on to be there, to build good stuff, that have good reputable designs, that are also a good value. Now that doesn't mean it's always the least expensive. I'm a fan of huge, very expensive guitars uh, from you know the big three and others, uh, but I really kind of get tickled when I see a guitar company come out with a guitar that is uh, a great guitar that sounds fantastic and is just incredibly affordable and gives you a lot of bang for the buck. And that's what we have with the Rode series. So new for 2019 is this GPC 11E. Now Martin's gone through and kind of renumbered a lot of the Rode series guitars uh, to designate some of the features on it like uh, does it have a gloss top, is it a gloss body, does it have black binding or white binding and so forth. The GPC-11E is a grand performer body, okay? So this is a grand performer body. Now it might look familiar to the guitar we're going to compare it to, and I'll grab that in just a moment. But let's give you kind of a once over. The grand performer is Martin's kind of do all body. It's a Swiss army knife, so to speak. Um, it's deeper than an OM or triple O. Uh, it's about as wide as a dreadnought, but just a little shy. Uh, it's got a tighter waist and it's a long scale. So it handles strumming and finger picking and all of that very well. Like most of the Rode series, it has a wider nut, a low profile modified oval uh, neck. Um, it just plays really, really well. Um, and here's the kicker. It's all solid wood. It's all solid wood. So it's a solid spruce top and it's solid sapele back and sides. And the sale price on these is right at $9.99. So right at $1,000. Now, I know what you're thinking. We do guitar comparisons all the time. And a lot of the things we like to compare are Taylor and Martin because they're the biggest guitar, acoustic guitar manufacturers uh, really that are in, out there in the world. And a lot of people like to, you know, it's the Coke or Pepsi challenge. A lot of people like to go, is it Taylor or is it Martin? I like both, okay? Uh, so there you go, there, there's my loyalties. I own both, I like both. Um, but this guitar, what, what should we compare it to? Well, at $9.99, it would seem to make sense to compare it to something like in the Taylor 100 series. That's about $9.99, $8.99 I think is currently what a 114 CE goes for. Uh, or maybe a, a 214. The non-deluxe models are right at about $9.99. But I have another thing to compare it to. How about we compare it to a 314 CE instead? And the reason I think makes this guitar very compelling. So here are four primary differences between these guitars. Well, one's made by Martin and one's made by Taylor. So let's get that out of the way first. The 314 comes with a hard shell case. The GPC 11E comes with a very nice gig bag from Martin. They both have pickup systems. Martin uses a new Fishman pickup system with a tuner in the sound hole. Taylor uses their tried and true ES2 pickup system. They're both very similar bodies, very similar dimensions. Um, but the 314 also has V bracing, whereas the GPC 11E has scalloped bracing. Oh, and they're both made in North America. But the GPC 11E is made in Mexico and the 314 CE is made in the United States of America. So USA, Mexico, thousand dollars difference. There's the other big difference, okay? This is 999 as I mentioned and a 314 CE is uh, $1,999. So basically a grand, two grand, uh, give or take. So. When you're dealing with all solid wood guitars, that is kind of a demarcation point usually. And then it gets down to other small little features, country of origin and what's, whatnot. But given that these are basically made within about 100 miles of each other, I think it's pretty compelling to compare them and see how they compare. Now, let's talk about the GPC 11E. Um, both of these, of course, are spruce top, sapele back and sides. The GPC 11E has um, rich light fingerboard and bridge. That's gonna bother some of you. The rest of you are gonna go, eh, I don't care. That's fine. That's got a Fishman pickup system in it. Controls are in the sound hole here with a tuner at the bottom that will uh, display your tuning to you. As you look down, it also will mute the system. 
Uh, like I said, it's got a comfortable neck um, and it's got a nice kind of pearloid rosette there and it comes with a nice gig bag. The nut width is the same on them. The feel's a little different. So here's what I'm gonna tell you and this, this is kind of general between these two companies. Um, generally, Martins have a little bit higher uh, action, which is the string height off the fingerboard. That's something that can be adjusted because what I found is typically it's the relief of the neck, which is a little bit more. Taylors tend to play a little bit better. They've been known for that for years. Uh, so the 314 does play a little bit better, uh, kind of feel in the hand. The strings are a little bit closer to the fingerboard. Um, and it has the most adjustability given the way that Taylor mounts the neck to the body. In addition, of course, to your truss rod adjustment. So I think it's time to put these to the test. We know what they cost. We know that they're very similar build wise, but how do they sound? So this one takes the edge a little bit in feel and it should $4,000 more, but let your ears be your guide as well because in addition to feel, what you hear is very important when picking the guitar. So we're gonna put it through its paces, play the same thing on both guitars, and you tell me which one you prefer.
So there you go. A compelling comparison, I think, between a Martin and a Taylor with a substantial price difference. You could buy two of these for what one of these costs. But this is a really great guitar. I'm not hating on the 314, we love the 314. I've included it in tons of videos, I think it's a workhorse. And Taylor's fit, finish, action, and V bracing is compelling. You also get the best case in the industry, arguably. So, yeah, it, it's also made in the US. I mean, are those things worth it to you to make it $1,000 more, or the sound? They have very different tones. The Martin sounds like a Martin, and the Taylor sounds like a Taylor, and it really comes down to your ears of which one you end up preferring. But tell us, we're gonna put a poll right here. Take your pick, GPC 11E, 314CE, which one would you get with your money? Uh, let us know, feel free to comment below. As always, subscribe, turn on notifications. You're gonna find out before everybody else when we put out the next video. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks.